Uh, first of all, this is surreal for me to sit across from both of you because I still have my original Hustle and Flow stub from 10 years ago. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, I saw that in theaters for 650. Jesus, we're old. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> this was almost 10 20, years ago. 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, it was 10 years ago. One of my favorite movies ago. of all time. This is totally <laughs> hypothetical, but if your characters from Hustle and Flow were to walk into Lucius's office with It's Hard Out Here for a Pimp, what would he say? Would he sign them? Cookie would. Cookie would sign mm -hmm. them. She would want to manage them. How, how, if she was head of A&R. Yeah. <laughs> how would she manage them? What, what, what would be her first order of business? Her first order of business would be a video. Ooh. Get me some money. Because mm. that's how songs become hits. I've liked a lot of songs through videos. Okay. I'd hear the song and be like, yeah. See the <laughs> video and be like, oh my God! <laughs> you know, so that's the first order of business for Cookie. What would Lucius think? I think Lucius would ask him, what do they have as a follow-up? Ooh. You know, what, what other songs do they have? Because he's not into the one hit wonder. I wouldn't make the deal with them. I would make the deal, but I would me. ask for probably 50% of their publishing. <laughs> because they're ignorant. They don't know. I love this. I love this business discussion about <laughs> it's hard out here for a pimp. This is amazing. It really is hard out here for a pimp. It is. It is. Not when you're for doing me, it, it definitely is. Not when you're doing it right. Why yeah. not when you're doing the pimp thing? That's right. I do the pimp. <laughs> I'm, I'm really good at it. I'm learning. I'm learning. That's why I'm, I'm in training. I'm pimping training. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me ask you guys, because um, I, I, when we meet your characters, we, we meet them at a certain stage in their life. Mm -hmm. But I think Cookie is such an extraordinarily interesting character. I want to know where she came from, who her parents were, what, 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 are, what her favorite foods are. Do you build those into your characters? Do you know those oh, things? Yeah. Cookie um, grew up in the hood, uh, broken home, probably don't even know who her dad is. Mm. Um, and that's why they met at such a young age, because she was missing that. Uh, masculine energy, you know, mama probably dated this one, that one, the, the other, the third, mm. and she's trying to change it. She's that special kid in the hood that's like, I'm getting out of here. And how I'm getting out of here? Right? This guy. So, um, that Cookie loves candy, she loves Cheetos, all junk food Cookie loves. She's just a Hennessy Remy drinker. She drinks that dark, baby. See? Straight no chaser. I like this. No ice. They need to hang out with Cookie. <laughs> Can we be best friends? Cookie like, don't turn up. Yeah, She'll yeah. turn up. But Monkey, don't cross Cookie. Don't you I won't. I know, I'm scared of her. No, she's scared. Cookie. She's like the shark in Jaws. Yeah. I don't know what she's going to do next. Never, ever. She freaks me out. You well, never know. What about you? Where do you think Lucius' beginnings were? Do you know like who his parents were? Who is, like, do you well, know Lucius things? has been on the streets since he was nine years old by right. himself. So he was always missing uh, an ace to back him up. Hmm. You know, some family. He's seen a lot of garbage, seen a lot of people pretend they're going to be on his side when really they're just trying to shake him down. Mm. So when he met Cookie, you know, not only was he in love with her beauty, but her ver veracity, her nature, and her need to care and love and to sacrifice, mm. he knew that. And like I heard a great quote the other day, it said, you know, women are not, why women aren't as successful as men is because they don't have a wife behind them. Mm. You know, mm. it's... The, having a great wife, mm -hmm. Lucius wouldn't be who he is without Cookie's prodding and her knowledge and instinct about the music game and, and truthfulness. And as a result of that, you know, he was able to grow. Mm -hmm. And the moment that she's out of prison, like um, as the series progress, you'll see their working together is a beautiful thing, but it still comes with its own consequences. Right. Now your character, he continues, his past keeps coming up to him, like there's things that he can't shake. And I'm wondering for you as actors, are there parts in your career that like you took that, that, that have stuck with you and maybe like changed the way you got a role or changed the way you did a performance that have just kept coming up with in your career? Well, you came in right away and said, it's hard out here for a pimp. <laughs> yeah. I keep getting called Yvette everywhere I go from Baby Boy. I just yeah. can't shake it. I love Baby Boy. I, <laughs> I love Baby Boy. I love his exuberance. I love yeah. Baby Boy. All right, last question for you, because I'm, I'm from D.C. Yeah. I actually hosted a screening at Howard University oh, for did? this, and you did a nice message Yay, for everybody. Yeah. I also want to know for you, knowing that this played at Howard University, Take me back to Taraji when you were in school working at the Spirit of Washington and, and everything there and working. Tell me like, how, how you would feel if you could tell that Taraji P. Henson that a show of hers would be playing at Howard University. What blows me away most is that part of my life you're talking about, my nickname was Cookie. So I, really? Yeah, I probably think you were crazy if somebody came to me and said, you know, you know you're going to play this role. I never thought I would play a role, Cookie. And she was coming to me. She was going to come to me because mm. John Singleton was working on another script. And the character in that script was Cookie. 
So I was going to, I was destined to play Cookie, I guess. Okay. What did like what did Howard University teach oh. you about acting? Oh God, what? Well, the 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 incredible thing about the first thing I learned when I first got there was it is that stuck with me, and I think that made me such a go getter that I am. Um, that it people call it show business, but in essence, it's business show, and you should always mm. look at it as a business. Um, talent is great. But, and it will sustain you, but that's not going to always get you to where you need to go. So think of it always as a business. They also div gave me a tough skin because when I was going there, it wasn't about how pretty you were, how thin you were, how long your hair was, how light your skin was. Can you hit your mark, say, and make these people feel something? If you can't, next. Mm. So it was literally about the talent. And so once I got all of that under my belt and some sort of uh, control of that, I think I was able to come out to L.A. and do, do what I've done. I, I wouldn't have been able to do it without that experience at Howard. You've had a wonderful career. I love you, <laughs> Benjamin Button. You're Thank amazing you. actors. Thank you so Thank much.